What's up guys? Today we are actually going to go ahead and do some more cosmetic stuff. So like I've said before, um, I'm going to go ahead and paint this back black um, because it really doesn't match this hydro dip that we've done before. And then as you guys know, the radiator uh, mounts right here, they were also that same color orange and I've already got those pulled off and I've started taking some of the orange off of them. So we're going to go ahead and paint those black too with that and then... Like I said before, we have the air diversion panel that's gonna go right here that is this same carbon fiber. So today, we're just gonna be doing some cosmetic stuff, just some real easy, simple stuff, and you guys can uh, hang around and watch if you're wanting to paint some parts in your engine bay. And uh, as you can see right here, we got the old Joshy's back. What's up, buddy? The last video he was in is when we was wrapping his hood and this carbon fiber right here. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. All right, guys, so here's the products we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using the um, Flame Proof VHT Black. It's like a matte black, um, and it goes from 1,300 degrees to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I've got um, Engine Enamel Clear Gloss. It's the only, like, gloss clear that they have. The other is like a satin clear. I'll show you right here. Is the satin clear and it doesn't look as good it really doesn't even make it look shiny at all so even though its temperature don't go up as high I've used it before and it it stays on and it works so this is the products that we'll be using today all right guys so we're just going to kind of rough this up with uh, the drill wire brush and um, kind of just knock off some of the paint that's loose um, it probably won't take off all the orange but that's not really what we're trying to do we're just trying to get off what's not sticking anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and let Josh start uh, getting off some of the old paint and we've actually already started on this one a little bit What we do here is go back 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 All right guys, so now you can see how we kind of got the orange off a little bit got some of the paint off that was kind of flaking off to begin with so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other one that's laying right there and then once we get that one done we'll go ahead and we'll start painting them so hopefully we got a box in here somewhere we'll take them outside and paint them and then bring them back in here because it's kind of cold all right so while josh is finishing up that i'm going to go ahead and start cleaning off the bolts we're going to paint them uh, back black fresh black with some gloss um, clear coat over it these had like a satin clear over them so they weren't that shiny um, so this is what they look like before this is kind of one I've started doing kind of see it looks better than it did before just kind of cleaning off all the paint so I'm gonna go over here and finish this one while Josh is finishing that and then we're gonna go ahead and start painting All right, guys, so we've got everything cleaned up. We've got it on our cardboard box, and I'm just going to take it out here, do the first coat, and then bring it back in here where it's warm, and then go back out there again, paint it, do the process. Um, I'm actually going to be painting it with this VHT. I mean, it doesn't even matter for these because they're not even going to get hot. I just want them to be the same color as the uh, header, and I just had this paint laying around, so I might as well just use it so it matches. Um, that header cover that we're going to do next right here because that one will have to be a high temp paint so let's go ahead and we'll start on these another thing guys is make sure that you um you know like wipe it down with alcohol or whatever or some uh paint thinner so now we're going to go over here and go ahead and start taking this off and the bottom ones and then there's actually another little one that's like right underneath the, or right above the dipstick right here for your oil so we're gonna go ahead and take those off and start uh, knocking some of the orange paint off of them and then start spraying those too look like mustard All 
All right, so Josh got every, all the old paint kind of knocked off of it, so now I'm gonna spray it down. All right, guys, so I wiped it off. We've got it in a box, so we're gonna go ahead and take it outside, get its first coat. We'll go ahead and put the second coat on these. All right, so the second coat. All right, so this is gonna be our fourth and final coat for the radiator brackets. All right, so this is gonna be our third coat for this, and I'm actually gonna to have to hit down here because the way it was in the box earlier, I only got to get half of it. So let's go ahead and hit our third coat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. All right guys, so while all this stuff is drying, we're gonna go ahead and um, take a small little break. Uh, one thing that I was gonna tell you guys is I actually have some stuff that's off my car that is for sale right now. And if you guys want it, just let me know. Um, there's a link below to my Instagram, my Facebook. You know, you can just private message me there, DM me, whatever, and uh, get in contact with me and I'll try to uh, get it shipped to you guys if you want it. Um, so the first thing I have is the engine uh, short ram intake it's polished i actually got this because i was thinking maybe i wanted to switch to a polished one but the black is actually going better with the hydro dip carbon fiber and all the other stuff that we have going on in the car so i'm going to leave the black one in there so it is just the short ram it's not the full cold air um, all the parts are original on it except one bolt um, I think like came out when I was driving and it's missing, but I went ahead and I re-bought that bolt. So um, I do have that. And then one of these hose clamps, it was in bad shape when I got this. So I went ahead and I replaced it with a better one. Um, so all the parts that you need are here. Um, it comes with a filter. I just don't have the filter on it. It's actually upstairs. Um, I just brought this down here to film this real quick, quick for you guys. But all the parts you need to install it are right here. Um, and then the other thing is, is I have the fog lights, um, you know, they're spider fog lights. They have like the plastic housings. Um, if you guys want these, just let me know. And, uh, the other thing that I have, I actually don't have it down here right now, but I have one of the, um, cargo covers for the back, um, both back seat mats and both front seat mats. And they are like in great condition. Um, so if you guys want any of that stuff or any of this, um, just let me know. And, um, I can get it to you guys as quick as possible. I'm willing to ship any of it. Um, you guys will have to pay shipping, of course. Um, but um, please, if you guys want that stuff, help me out and buy it, and it'll help me put um, any money that comes from that will go directly back into the channel and getting either parts for the car or uh, help me get a new camera or whatever you know it comes up for the time. Um, it'll help me make more videos for you guys. So. I just wanted to take a quick break and show you guys that. Um, I have it posted up on some other places too, but um, you know, just message me as fast as possible and hopefully uh, you can get it. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and put one more coat of black on the shield, and then we're gonna go ahead and start spraying the gloss on the radiator um, supports. All right, so here's number two on the clear coat. And I'm looking through the viewfinder and I can see that it's hard for you guys to see the parts really, but they are there. I'm not just spray spraying a box in clear. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll put the second coat on. All right, guys, so here's our third and final coat of clear. All right, guys, um, you actually just missed me freaking dropping one of those radiator things right here on the concrete. So it's a little, one of them's a little marred up. But anyway, so it still looks good. I sprayed clear back over it and it kind of made the black fade in a little bit better. So you can't really see it as bad as it did. I'm a little bit mad about it, but we'll keep on going. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to film all three time lapses of this without stopping. So they'll just be like over 
lapping and then we'll go ahead and we'll put these pieces back on. All right guys, so everything is finished now. Um, I've got it mocked up to where you guys can see it. Um, of course, the paint is not cured yet, so I don't have it bolted down or anything, but I have it in the places that it will be once um, it's completely cured. So let's go ahead and we'll roll the clip now. All right guys, so I hope you could see a big difference. Um, I really didn't have a lot of clips of what it was before because I actually forgot to um, do a good video of what it looked like before. I actually took some clips from where we were doing the strut bar and the beginning of this video to actually show you guys. Um, but anyway, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and we'll close this video out now. Um, again guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's really gonna help. We're getting so close. Um, to getting back to a thousand um, or we need to get to a thousand subscribers so we can get back monetized um, and the faster I get monetized the faster I will be able to get more stuff for the car maybe get another car um, we can do a lot more videos that way because it'll help me with income and stuff so um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then also hit the bell so you know when the next videos will be up um, and again remember um, I did show you guys the parts that were for sale if you guys would like any of those parts, just go ahead and go down in the link below in the description. And I have my Instagram there, my Facebook there. You can message me on either one of those, or you can just email me. It should be down there as well. Um, and again, guys, uh, I really think that this made it look a little bit better. Um, but it could be, like I said before, it could be better if I was to be able to sandblast it and clean it up a little bit better. It'll probably turn out good. But hopefully this is just a temporary fix and we'll see a turbo in there soon. Um, so the last couple things I was gonna tell you guys is the next videos that will be coming up, I'll give you guys a sneak peek if you've lasted this long. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we will put the air diversion panel on. That will be after I take this apart and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reseal this headlight with the OEM um, headlight reseal because we're getting a little bit of moisture in this one. Um, so that headlight build, I'll probably try to do it first before I show us resealing this um, because I still need to show you guys the wiring and everything we did underneath the car for that video. Um, so I'll probably do that first and then that. So we'll have the headlight build, then we'll have probably the uh, air diversion panel, then we'll go back and I'll show you guys how I resealed the headlight and make sure that there's no moisture getting in. Then we're going to go ahead and show you guys, um, this video will probably actually be next. It's where we had to put in a new strip for the LEDs right here because the old one was too big for the front strut bar. So I'm going to show you guys what we did there in case you guys want to do that as well. And then in that video will also be the extension pieces that we're doing to the underglow for the side skirts. Um, so anyway guys, that's kind of what's coming up and I'm sure I've missed a couple videos because there's a couple things like that I'm going to show you guys with the valve cover, like us going and getting it the first day and just different stuff like that. Um, and hopefully we might even do a video with Josh before I leave. We're going to put in some pods in his Bronco so he can have some fog lights because his headlights are terrible. Um, and then another thing is if you guys have any videos that you want me to do, like a walk around of the car or explain stuff a little bit better for you guys, or I can go back and go through other stuff that I've already done and explain it better for you guys. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. And even if you like this, I mean, if you like that it's black now compared to the orange, let me know anything. Um, all that helps. So again, um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Instagram if you wanna know stuff that's coming up before it happens. And you can know when the videos are gonna be out also by the Instagram. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.